evening from the highlands of Iceland. Today we are going to talk about vlog and video production planning and storytelling. But this video does not start right now. It starts earlier today in the car while I was setting the plan for this video. Let's go. Every video should start with a plan or a subject in mind. In my case, I keep a list on my phone of potential video ideas and topics that I can refer to when looking for a new vlog. Now in this case, I knew I wanted to plan initial footage leading into the actual intro of the video, and that's what you see here. See, that voiceover worked great. Now it's back to the action. Whoa! We are about halfway up this hike on the first location of the Highlands uh, Sunset and Sunrise photography mission here in the Midnight Sun uh, Photo Workshop in Iceland. And uh, part of this whole video and vlog planning and storytelling is to have an idea of what you're going to do. So I had a briefing with Tom and Thor about uh, the plan for this evening really about the locations that they wanted to go to what time we were going to be there um, so I could sort of figure out in my mind how I was going to structure this video so I know a lot of you have been commenting about how to storyboard or to story tell and I believe that a good way to do that is to get an overview of what your uh, sort of subject is going to be what the day is going to look like if you're vlogging that day and uh, and if you have an idea of what that's going to look like then you can sort of start to structure the way your story will flow so this is the first sort of section of our story this evening is this hike in the highlands to get these amazing views hopefully some good photos and then we'll follow on to the next location the next one for the conclusion and hopefully hopefully we get some really good light what's up you didn't Whoa. tell me it was gonna look this nice oh yeah 15 minutes man. that's a new record We just touched a little bit about planning and now I want to give you my sort of top tip for storyboarding or uh, sort of storytelling within your videos. So for me, I see it as sort of an essay with an intro, a body and a conclusion. <laughs> Still got a broken finger. So the uh, the intro for this video is uh, back in the van that we just shared with you about sort of the voiceover of how this idea came to be. And that's the, the story leading into this part being the body. And we're gonna kind of continue the body with examples of how I storytell throughout my vlogs uh, as we go through these different locations in Iceland, which is amazing. So then naturally when this day comes to an end will be the conclusion. And that's when uh, hopefully we'll have some epic, epic light get some more great photos but so far already Jesus that was terrible <laughs> keep it real should have been a bit tighter but it wasn't but yeah the uh, the natural conclusion hopefully we'll get some more great photos it's like the clouds are all going away in any direction Let's go, let's see. What's up? <laughs>
So this man knows a lot about planning vlogs and storytelling. What would be like one of your tips for going into your video production? Um, well, it's very easy for me because my videos are all about my photography. And I always plan my photography, so therefore it's easy to plan my videos. Let's just go this way. <laughs> I tried to get my camera speaking of, uh, of such. So yeah, it's all about just knowing it's more about knowing what you've done and how that relates to what's about to happen mm -hmm. and kind of yeah pulling it all together not just not just vlogging whatever's happening because then you end up with a ton of images a mm -hmm. ton of video that doesn't really make sense no it doesn't tell a story that's why it's important yeah. to have that structure you know and you even told me when we started walking that you're gonna walk towards yeah. your camera as much as i like <laughs> to be in your videos correct there's a lovely image over there that I want to <laughs> all right back but, to yeah. work so yeah it's planning and and just being mindful about everything that you film and think why am i filming this does it add to the story what's the story oh the story is i'm walking here to get a photograph so do you need all this sexy b-roll well, probably some of it but you know it's does it help tell the story that's what i'm saying yes it does so it's being mindful about what's happening and just thinking about what's coming up next as well and having a beginning, a middle, and an end. Ah. So important, so important. The beginning is what's going to happen. The middle is probably like the image or the taking of the image for me anyway. Then the ending is the showing of the image and then perhaps your thoughts about how it all went. Tom just mentioned a really important concept, which is B-roll. And B-roll is your secondary footage that helps tie together your story. Now, this is basically what I do for a living. I film a ton of B-roll for different people in cinematic sequences. And one of the main tools that I use is uh, slow motion and my drone. So one of, uh, one of the things we just did with Thor here and the vehicle is he did sort of a big circle and I put the drone up in the air and followed him as we went. And that's the kind of like cinematic epic B-roll that will help tie together uh, the story of this vlog and also some of the content that he needs for his website. I forgot to mention, I wanted to film this bit in the car because we're driving and driving footage is a really good example of taking you from one scene to the next in your story. So anything that kind of uh, shows the passage of time, a time lapse, a hyperlapse, driving footage, drone footage is really, really good B-roll to tie into your story to get you from that intro to the body or to the conclusion. Our last location today is an absolute utopian paradise. Look at these waterfalls. I'm also about to lose the sun. It is like just on the horizon there. And as soon as that goes down, we're hoping that the clouds are gonna light up and we'll have potentially some really, really good kind of midnight sunlight. But it's uh, when I've got this light on me now, it's the perfect chance to conclude this video. And uh, again, going back to the storytelling, you know, when the sun goes down in a travel vlog or a photography video, it's really a natural conclusion to, to end the video. So for me in my style, I like to try and follow that, uh, that really simple structure to all of my videos. But when you're planning a shoot and, uh, and you're trying to tell a story within your video, it's really important to do what you feel comfortable with. So finding, uh, you know, something that works for the story that you're trying to tell. So whether that is, I know anything, whatever it is that you're interested in, and again, that you feel comfortable with, that's really, really important. So um, 
practice, practice makes perfect, and writing stuff down too, like having a storyboard or a list of things that you want to cover, like a shot list, uh, really helps. Uh, I keep notes on my phone, like you saw at the beginning of this video, of videos that I want to make in the future. Um, so I think it's important to try and, yeah, structure in a way that you feel comfortable with. And the sun is, is really like you're losing the light during this final conclusion piece. So uh, with that being said, I should sign off, but I hope you've really enjoyed this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I will see you on the next one.